Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brenda Medina. We start with a local 23 exclusive. An alleged victim of a Valley doctor accused of misdiagnosing patients for financial gain. Speaking out to our Joanna Guzman for the first time since she was reportedly falsely diagnosed and forced to undergo chemotherapy she did not need. 36-year-old Georgina Escobar tells us she was under Dr. Jorge Zamora Quesada's care for seven years. She claims he falsely diagnosed her with a chronic disease for money. To me, I felt he was helping me. How could this man be hurting me? You're helping me. But as time went on, we, we all noticed that everything was happening, you know, after I would see him. I would see him and then I'd get sick and then I'd get better and then see him again and get sick again. Escobar shows us pictures of her before seeking Dr. Quesada's care, telling us he forced her to undergo treatments she did not need. He diagnosed me with rheumatoid arthritis um, and put me on chemotherapy, Humira, Plaquenil, you know, a lot of pain medications, um, steroids. So I was up about 12 medications um, from Dr. Quesada. And he convinced me that I was very, very sick um, and said, if you don't take the treatments now, you know, your quality of life with your children is going to be non-existent. Um, so he brainwashed me for a long time. And even when I didn't have money to cover my, my, my visits, he would see me for free and cover $4,000 shots. Quesada stands accused of collecting nearly a quarter of a billion dollars in medical fraud by allegedly misdiagnosing patients in the Rio Grande Valley, prescribing drugs and treatments like chemotherapy and organ transplants not needed. Today we visited Escobar at the Nova Vida Wellness Center where she is being treated for major depressive disorder. She says this comes after she finds out Dr. Zamora purposely diagnosed her, causing her to lose her home, car, and distance herself from her family. We did get second opinions and it turned out that I was not, in fact, um, I did not have rheumatoid arthritis. So in those seven years, um, I endured uh, just a lot of pain. You know, I, I'm epileptic now. Uh, my hair fell, my teeth fell, as you can tell. Um, I was severely depressed. My anxiety was really, really bad. The clinical director at Nova Vida tells us Escobar is undergoing treatment with ketamine, a drug used to treat depression, chronic pain, and post-traumatic stress disorders. She's definitely transformed completely. When she came here, she had a mask, a surgical mask, because she had a body image disturbance. To see her the way I see her today, because that, that's the first time I see her that, that dressed, uh, well dressed, and, and just letting her hair down. She stopped wearing the mask. She's just a, a, whole, a whole new person. Multiple patients are set to testify during Quesada's trial, which is set to start September 18. In the McAllen Newsroom, I'm Joanna Guzman, Local 23 News. All right, Joanna, thank you. The doctor's wife, Maisie Zamora, was also arrested on health care fraud charges. The two are said to have a joint trial. You can count on Local 23 to bring you the latest on this case.